You see? Already earning his keep. Because I had this delivered yesterday. Now, I tried to attach this gorilla cart to the two-wheel tractor. And that didn't work. I tried to attach it to my track burrow. That didn't work either. <laughs> so, six bags of sand, three bags of potting soil, and I don't know, maybe about two cups of seeds. As you can see, this is a big one, trench, and I was debating whether or not I should um, till this, but I decided I want to give it a try as far as filling it in and see what happens. All right, so I have what I tilled over there, which is looks starting to look really good, and I have these trenches, literally trenches. I mean, look. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, go all inside there. Yeah. Uh, if I was a kid, you know what? I'd fill this with water and I'd just play around with it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to fill that up with what I have left and um, see what happens.
Okay, so this is what it looks like now. You can see the trenches. I filled them in with the mixture and I pounded them down. And we're going to see how that turns out. You know, we're going to turn the sprinkler system on and get this stuff wet. Here's another one that I did right over here. And, well, I just kind of just dumped, the, dumped everything out right over here. Um, there's a big giant hole in there. And I didn't finish, so this is something that's going to be finished the next... The next load and of course you can see there's the holes all over the place um, but as I said this looks that that looks good and this is probably almost I guess well I did forget a little spot right over here but there's still some more, a lot more to go. But you know, like I said before, a little at a time, a little at a time. That's all it. That's all it is. Just a little bit at a time. I think I'm finished for today. I filled those holes in, doing some more experimentation, whether to use the tiller or to just fill in the holes. I don't know exactly which one is, is better. One seems to save time a little bit, and the other one is just a little bit more costly, but I don't know. Anyway, I had a chance to use my ATV and I was able to pull that stuff around a couple of hundred pounds worth of sand and dirt and some tools and it was easy so I just moved it around no big deal just got on the ATV and then just keep it going the thing is after I disconnected it I decided to ride around uh, I'll tell you, now I see why people enjoy <laughs> just riding these things around because it was kind of fun. And I didn't even have to put it in the four-wheel drive, which I'm really kind of surprised with all those holes and divots and things like that. But hey, um, it is what it is. All right. Thank you for visiting, leaving my comfort zone. Have a good day. Thank you. God bless.